Hello, darlings. Cruella. Ah! Oh, what a delicious, fashionable, just mm, movie. But also unnecessary, but very, very enjoyable. In fact, I want to watch it again, like right now. <laughs> so, this is my review of Cruella. I'm not giving you any spoilers because, let's be honest, you will see the spoilers a mile away anyway. Even I saw them. Not exactly how they turned out, but close enough. Let's just say it's Ocean's Eleven. It is The Devil Wears Prada. It is Hannah Montana. And it sure definitely is a tiny bit of Terminator. <laughs> because, oh, I feel like I need to do a spoiler review of this because it's... <laughs> so good but also to the point where you don't really care as much as you thought you would like it's great to look at you want to know what happens with the story but in the end it's quite inconsequential and it doesn't really set up Cruella to the point where 101 Dalmatian begins so could we get a Cruella 2? I don't know this is a long movie I think it's definitely more than two hours, but there were some parts that felt a little rushed, specifically with the montages. There are so many montages in this film, but ugh, they make it so good. The montages, by the way, is how you see how many gorgeous outfits are in this film. I think that this is going to get a nomination in the Academy Awards for Best Costume or Hair and Makeup because, whoo, I want to buy her makeup and her clothes. I don't really even wear makeup or anything super fashionable and I want to be fashionable. Like, I don't know. One experience. Emma Thompson as the Baroness. Just a psycho trying to be Miranda Presley from The Devil Wears Prada. So psycho. Such a great psycho. And she gets referred to as a psycho in the film too. And I think that Emma Stone, it took me a while to get used to her British accent, but like I stopped caring about her accent entirely, probably like an hour in. I was just invested. She is a little cuckoo and I love it. I love it so much. And not the same type of cuckoo that Harley Quinn is known for. Different type of cuckoo. <laughs> Ah, oh, I just enjoyed like every minute of this film. There are definitely revelations and twists and turns, but I don't think there were a lot of stakes in this film. However, I would say this is one of the most, if not the most adult film that I've seen Disney do with Disney live action in terms of the fairy tales. This is PG-13 in America, I'm pretty sure. Very, very adult. Definitely a lot of dark themes in there. Murder, we get murder in here, or attempted murder at least. Oh no, there is a murder in there. <laughs> yeah, it is kind of a bit dark and I do like it. Wow. <laughs> anyway, go watch Corella. I hope you guys enjoyed this review. If you want a spoiler review, let me know, okay? Anyway, until next time, bye guys. Thank you so much for watching. So you can check out some more videos right now, right there, right there. There, do you see them? Also, if you haven't subscribed already, make sure you click the subscribe button and turn on the notification bell so you won't miss a single video. Bye!